So I'm sure you've all seen the now viral article that had the Mercedes management saying that SIPs are eating into luxury car sales. Now, while that's quite the headline and got all of the eyeballs, it doesn't quite paint the real picture. What is true, however, is that SIP investments have been, you know, consistently moving higher. So we here decided to do a deep dive and to bring you some really interesting data on this front. Currently, the number of SIP accounts in India is at 5.93 crores. That's a big number. In fact, the number of new SIP accounts has also been trending higher. So that chart will come up for you. And you can see that the last figure that we have for the month of October is at 19.73 lakh. And this has been consistently moving up. A figure that we've spoken about quite often is that the SIP inflows have also been steadily increasing. In fact, the last figure that we have again for the month of October, it has also crossed that 13,000 crore mark in that month. Let me throw another big figure at you. This is the total SIP assets under management and that has gone up from 5.5 lakh. This is in June versus now if you look at it in October, it's at 6.6 .6 lakh crore. So that's a big increase and in just a period of four months, right? So while all of these are big figures, let's take one look at the average ticket size because that is just around 2300 to 2500 rupees. So, you know, to say that these are taking away from mark sales is perhaps a bit of a stretch. Remember that while flows are picking up, even new accounts are rising, the ticket size has actually been pretty steady. So it's not like that is going up significantly. Now onto the fun part. Take a look at how SIP returns have been for a Nifty index fund. Just for the purpose of this research, we looked at the UTI Nifty 50 SIP fund and the direct uh, CAGR returns. This is data, by the way, that is attributable to FinFix research. And you can see that the, re uh, that the returns have been rock solid. Check out what the returns would have looked like if you would have invested at these, uh, you know, at all of these times. So everything from November 2017 to November 2021 up until now would have given you somewhere between 17 to 22 percent. That's a great return. Now to compare this, take a look at what it would be if you had just invested in the index. For the year, SIP returns in the index fund were looking at a little over 18%. This is for this year up until now. Versus if you take a, take a look at it for the index, it's at 6%. So that is the kind of outperformance that you would have seen in returns. Just to wrap up, while ditching your SIPs may not necessarily buy you a luxury car, who knows, maybe staying and invested for one long enough could actually get you there.